keep a real hoochie down. I know, know them girls are mean, because I know them. We got to take care of Fluffy. Yeah, baby. Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Come on, you man. Oh, that ain't going on. Oh, no. Oh, no. China girl, handle your business. We got a party to crash. to the great Chris Wong Wong. I can see Mocha right now in her living room. Dropping it to the floor. Jam Pony. Jam Pony Mocha. What the great mocha is doing right now. Classic right there. You're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. What year did that song come out? Let me see. You're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Uh, two live crew doing a little search right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hoochie Mama. Hoochie Mama. Hoochie Mama. <laughs> Hoochie Mama came out in. Uh, and they don't have it. They don't have like a wiki page for anything like that but I'm gonna guess it came out during the like early 90s uh, classic track right here for people that didn't get the reference if you're listening to uh, the Doug Stewart show uh, one of the, our P1s one of our greatest supporters the great Mocha Bella is from the bottom uh, that's what they call Miami <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, if you just join in as well, Chris Wong Wong, uh, the Asian dude and uh, and the two live crew, passed away at the age of 53. No real details on it yet, but um, obviously we'll hear more about it and we'll talk about it tomorrow, man. So rest in peace to one of the legendary uh, dudes' names in hip-hop, man. 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the DougStrishShow.com. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys are worth $4.2 billion. <laughs> the Dallas Cowboys are worth $4.2 billion, making them the most valuable sports franchise for the second year straight, according to Forbes magazine. In his annual rankings, Forms placed the New York Yankees second up from fourth a year ago worth $3.7 billion. And I'm saying billion with a B, people. I'm saying billion with a B. Next are three soccer clubs, Manchester United, $3.69 billion, Barcelona, $3.64, and Real Madrid, $3.58. Uh, the rest of the top ten includes the New York, oh, I'm sorry, the New England Patriots, $3.4 billion. I guess because they got, you know, such rabid sports fans up there that they will always be worth some money. Like, them Boston sports fans, they just crazy. Like, they ain't got shit else to do. But anyway, the New New England uh, Patriots, $3.4 billion. The Knicks, $3.3 billion. The New York Knicks were $3.3 billion? <laughs> that crappy product. One playoff victory. 
uh, series victory in the last 17 years. So if the Knicks worth $3.1 billion, the Lakers got to be worth $9 billion, easy. I don't know why they left them off this. It's got to be a grammatical, I mean, a, a uh, clerical error. Uh, they, they left the Lakers off this damn list somehow. Uh, New York Knicks, $3.3 billion. New York Giants, $3.1 billion. And, and what it is, is it's because of so many people in New York. It's simple as that. Eight million stories. That's all. It ain't because they got good franchises or their team's any good or their players any good. The New York sports teams suck for the most part. At the top of the list, the stinking-ass New York Knicks. The San Francisco 49ers, $3 billion. And the Los Angeles Lakers, $3 billion. There goes the Lakers. $3 billion? That's BS. They just sold the darn Clippers for like $3 billion? We got to be 10 times worth the damn Clippers? Whatever. The reason why that I, I, I thought about 1989 as being today's throwback year was based on this story right here. Uh, the, 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 the Dallas Cowboys are worth, once again, $4.2 billion. Do you know how much Jerry Jones paid for the Dallas Cowboys when he bought them in 1989? Jerry Jones paid $140 million for the Dallas Cowboys in 1989. Did you hear what I just said? <laughs> now, now, listen, I understand inflation and how it works or whatever, man. I mean, I understand all of that. I took economics. I took all those classes. I barely passed, but I did. I did take, you know, business courses in college. And I understand economics and all of that stuff, man, and inflation. I understand that. Jerry Jones in 1989, our throwback year, paid $140 million for the Dallas Cowboys. It's now worth $4.2 billion. That's what you call an investment. Oh, boy. That's what you call an investment. That's what you call a good investment. Uh, The hell with stinking ass stocks or or anything like that. Pork bellies. Buy your ass a team. So let me let me see. So 1989, 99, 2009. So you're talking about 27 years later. So this is 2017, uh, uh, 2027, 2037. So roughly 2042, if you could buy a team right now, say you buy the Dallas Cowboys, Jerry sells you the Dallas Cowboys right now um, for $4.2 billion in 27 years. If, if, does that work out for the Dallas Cowboys in 27 years to be worth, I don't know, $400 billion? I mean, it's crazy to think about, man. That's a great-ass investment, man. That's why we went back to 1989 today, if you were asking. Uh, 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at thedougshirtshow.com from Cool Cell and the chat on Spreaker.com on this Throwback Thursday. Every time I see uh, said Galloway's picture looking like show enough the master, I laugh. <laughs> That's a classic pitch, folk. Let, let me... Dude, you almost got an artist Gilmore, you know. Yeah. And I wish, I wish you didn't have the top cut off. Like, you got an artist Gilmore. You remember artist Gilmore? He had, like, the big afro, but it was big on the sides and kind of short on the top. Man, you got a classic damn haircut there, bro. I ain't never been able to grow an afro that big. I had, to like, the teeny-weeny afro. You know? I guess you got some Indian in your family, bro. That's a beautiful afro, bro. <laughs> shit is beautiful <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry i got distracted by your beautiful afro um from cool cell he says the falcons gonna whoop that cowboy's ass when this come when they come to atl uh, i hope so i hope so dallas is pretty damn good you gotta be uh, feel pretty good if you're a dallas cowboy fan for the next 10 years with uh zekio elliott and dak prescott from uh ld from the D, he says, speaking of billions, do y'all know the richest man in history worth today's equivalent of $400 billion is Mansa Musa uh, or King Musa? And yes, the reason I bring up his name because he was an African king, a black man. I love that history, brother. <laughs> I 
love that information. Uh, if, if King Musa was here, I'd be like, man, can I hold something? <laughs> Shut up. I really need to hold something right now. You're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Did you owe me money? That's what I need to do, man. I need to collect some of these damn debts that people owe me. <laughs> yeah. There's some people out there owe me a couple of dollars, man. They know who they are. They listening right now. I ain't forgot the damn money you owe me. Matter of fact, I need to collect that. If you listen, and you owe me some money. From RC, Gilmore had them huge sideburns, too. <laughs> yeah. The great artist Gilmore. Um... That ninja, don't leave Brian out of the equation. From Clay Pepto Sosa Davis, the Golden State Warriors had the second biggest value increase at 37%, second to the Vikings. Yeah, win a couple of championships. Put yourself in position by stacking your team to win a couple more. That should help the bottom line and the value of your team. I would agree. To one of the worst organizations in sports my entire life. Now everybody love the Golden State Warriors. Ooh, we love the Warriors. Forty-seven problem. Conor McGregor called Mayweather boy in their press conference. This sham of a fight is getting out of hand. Speaking of which, I'll talk about that when we get back. They had their second press conference yesterday. The Doug Stewart Show. Get him again. King's nation. Spot radio. Mills. Spot radio. Skills. 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 Yeah. Listen, boy, skills, y'all. I ain't skills. Nah. I don't rap to beat. I ain't the cat that came out and made you on MC. I ain't the cat that did it alone. Had no help. Carried the whole state on his back by himself. When P was the verb lord and Tim had a small frame. Before Missy came and got you wet in the rain. Was the raw metaphors that was picking your brain. It was a cat from which you're sick and with a flow insane. Nah, I ain't him. He ain't me. They say we look alike, but they don't mean I want your CD. So it's best to back up, relax, we're acting tough. Get your facts up before your act is up in the rap. Huh? And you don't want to see that dude. He was screaming VA when screaming VA wasn't cool. Huh? Now let me stop, that's me. But you'll never yeah. open the state yeah. playboy, because I still got Love. the key. I'm Woo. from the B to the S.A., one of the few who get played. Yeah. I stay in these streets, a cop, cook, and flip, yay. Dog, you a slizze, like Kunta and Kizze. Who am I? Next time. Did you miss me? But on the up and up, they can't get enough for us. Nah. The home of Missy, D'Angelo, and Bubba Chuck. And you don't know what we capable of love. Be at your crib with a mask and up tape with some gloves. What, 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 what? Down here, cash rules. Nothing but bad dudes from Richmond and bad news. Make fast moves, dog. Stay alert here. Catch them up top. Come down and drop work here. Right. Home of the Grizzade. We live to get paid until oh. I'm old and grizzade. This is where I stizzade. Born and raised from the cradle to the... 